What's up fam, Sanga Tembo here with the headlines that made entertainment news for the week ending May 29th as brought to you by ZambeziJuice.com. Do check out that site, one of the best sites we have in the country. Let's look at the industry news updates right quick. Maki2 says Toela has two songs on the Oli Jabba album. That's really great fam, she's come so far. I remember her crediting the brother with influencing her to finally get into music like active mainstream music away from backing people and away from just playing small clubs you know he used to encourage her saying you could do this on your own you could really go full throttle you have the talent you have everything going for you why are you holding off on yourself fam why are you sleeping on talent and i think with most people about the talented I've been given us and Gapo Bansoni until someone actually gives them that push. So to see her have like two songs on the album, that's like that's like a huge achievement for me because I'd like to think it's not easy to get even like one song on Booga's album. He could be all over everybody's songs and whatever, but to make that list, regardless of your whether you're the sister or brother or not, you'd have to have had put in some good work or like, I'm a good versus to impress the brother. I mean, he is the GOAT after all, right? Tilo urges bloggers and promoters to focus on artists that are lyrically clever as opposed to the majority of the artists they promote now. Granted, and I remember um girl's Effie page from Quitu FM replied to this you need to see that reply i think she was coming from the place of uletu disa fweba di shenyi mbosha so uletu fwaya today chita promoti mwema lyrically gifted but tatuwa kuishwa no kuishwa tatuwa kutemwapo no kutemwapo che rocks announces a new shoe oh that uh, that is great that is great a second one okay okay i then give a chita fe announce imo they do a run then they dip that means he has a passion for these things, man. We'll see how this one does. The first one, Nari Monaco artists, artists, very for a for a shiny. Quite common mixed feelings. Kuba deje to receive background saying, "Oh, na ludo, na na ludo la," but support the ene po ya di mchin kafe chakua desa. I don't know how it did with sales, na average Zambian and whatnot, but I know support the ene po ya di from artists and media people alike. But I'm yet to find out how it did. When it comes to sales to the average Zambian. PNC, that's Princess Natasha Chansa features on GQ Africa. Congratulations. The grind is finally paying off. Shout out to Boadia, the manager. They pushing. They pushing, man. And she's also featured on the new Clio EP, Leaders of the New School. And you know that EP got the ears of Def Jam, right? Fenty Beauty, impressed with our own Iris. Okay. Iris is Pakabwata right now, but I'm getting the feeling Fenty are looking at that as oh, this is someone who was inspired by the dress code Diafuele Rihanna one time. Ka dress see through Nashan Nashani. She took pictures. Kuri Fenty launch. Kuri now Makone and uh, Fenty tweeted that saying, Yes, Zambia. Applauding the fact. I'm sure you are all aware what's going on. It's all over social media, everywhere I look, like Spider-Man, I see her. And with that, we get into the industry drama, right? Quick Critic and Cleo fire shots at each other on Twitter. Started with Critic as he went on a rant by the podcast, Yakwa saying, Yo, Cleo, we need you to up your game when it comes to skill level. Ya rapping, yo, we have rhymes, if you have a standard, sana wako kwesha mu industry. Wala tu mwene sha moko lea na konso ku def jam na sha ni you are too focused on your marketing in it if you not dem with you but if you say you are the queen of rap i have to challenge that especially by the skill level you be the film pangira sense you can go and watch that podcast cleo was quiet she replied with the lyric ya kwa kendrick i think mli n95 when kendrick said we ain't worried about a critic that's not protocol she quoted that lyric and laughed. Ran Blaze laughed along. And Critic quoted that same tweet and said, I hope you got some tips from the Kendrick Lamar LP on how to rap. And attached a picture of his upcoming album, which is called How to Rap. That album is with him and Camster on it. 
and I'm just here sitting thinking, can't we all just get along in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King? Because both of us, Critic and Cleo, have something the other might need. Why do we need to beef? I'm just saying. And Critic might come up here and say, I'm not beefing, I'm just calling out what I see and as I see it. Skiwi, taidi laka. Cleo nankwat, I'm doing my thing. I've been out here grinding. Nangumbwe nemumuni marketing yandi. I'm pushing. Hard work beats talent. Let me do my thing. Aqualaskin says he's retiring from music after dropping Wim Borudiat Underdog. How kwari kutuka na kwari kutuka na muru Wim Borudiat. Hitting back at all the people who once called out his rhyme scheme and all and every other thing that happened. I hope he doesn't retire because there's not much content. I don't believe he's done so much in industry. He has a hit. But is that enough to retire on? I feel like this is just a stunt. With that said, let's look at music news. Cleo has dropped her long-awaited EP Leaders of the New School. Bow Chase drops a new song titled Chikapu. And Alfa Romeo has a new album out with Letter to PJ being the first single off of it. To which we can go back to the industry drama and say, Umu guys bizo sede sede adeda ndat. Naba muibido ruru imbo leta to PJ kuri Alfa Romeo at concept iliko similar. What do you think? Let me know. Listen to both songs. And what can we really do about this? You know? Should we say great minds think alike? O chachi neba master imbibari kata idea ya mundu. Katuishi. Kisha drops a new song titled Mood and with that we end this week in music. Feel free to go to ZambeziJuice.com. Let me know what you find. I'm sure you'll be impressed. This is just but a glimpse of what happened this week.